hey y'all and welcome back to the kitchen guys as you can see these are some pork baby back ribs let me show you the seasoning i use on here we have some garlic some montreal spice season we have some original uh bowl and smoky flavor we have onion powder and salt and pepper on these delicious ribs these are the ones i just got from Aldi's dumpster and we're gonna go ahead and put them on the grill I think I'm gonna put one at a time because I have a little smoker and I don't think I can put them both on there go on there we're gonna turn it back down this way Ooh, look at that to turn them over Ooh, look at that let's check them Ooh. <laughs> oh yeah, I think it was time to turn them over. So we're gonna cook them a little bit on this side and then we'll finish the rest of it in the oven. All right guys, I had both of these uh, cuts of rib in there. And um, one I left with the dry seasoning on and the other one I did with the barbecue sauce on there. Guys, look at those ribs oh my goodness and then i just did the dry seasoning i didn't put barbecue sauce on this one but don't they look beautiful oh my goodness i can't wait to get into these all right guys we're gonna top these ribs off with a little bit of parsley and look at that that is how you make some delicious pork baby back ribs now if they are too big you can always um, cut them into six I'm gonna see how many I can put on this one tray then we're going to season it and put some oil. So some of these are golden potatoes. Some of them are the red potatoes. Okay, so we have the red, the red potatoes all cooked on there. And what we're going to do is spray it with a little bit of granola oil spray. And we're going to put some oregano. I mean, thoroughly season it. It's potatoes. They don't have any season. So, season it. It has some garlic powder. Salt. And some fresh cracked pepper. Now we're going to give them a little light toss. So make sure to season it's on all the potatoes. We're going to spray a little more spray. 